Come, baby. Enjoy this great game. What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball Channel. And unfortunately, we have our first DUI arrest of spring training. Nobody was hurt. I think it was just a situation where he was pulled over and was over the limit. And he was also speeding almost twice the limit, uh, the speed limit. So this is all bad. And this year it is, I say this year because it feels like almost every year, either a player, coach, manager, Tony La Russa, uh, gets arrested for DUI. And this time it's Coach Pete Walker, the pitching coach of the Toronto Blue Jays. So definitely not a good thing. We'll get into the details of this. Look at some of the reaction on Twitter. Um, first thing I, I think of, you know, I do know a lot of people. I have lots of friends and lots of families who have had DUIs. I've never had one, if you're wondering. I'm not saying um, I got a friend who had one, but really it was me. I've never and never will because I don't drink. And not that I'm any better than anyone else. I just, it's disgusting. I don't drink because it's nasty. Uh, the first time I had a beer, I almost threw up. I said, that is disgusting. I taste like urine. I will never drink ever a beer. Again, I'm just smelling it. I almost throw up. So I appreciate everyone offering me a beer at the game, but a uh, Coke will be just fine i don't eat pickles either because they're disgusting but hey, there's nothing wrong with you if you do so just not not judging i personally don't drink so i don't have to worry about ever getting a drink or uh, a dui but if i did drink i don't believe i would ever drive i know that maybe it's easier said than done people go out drink they want to drive home they're like ah, i'm fine but you know i've done a lot of research into duis i was even thinking of becoming a dui lawyer at one time believe it or not because i i knew so much i had learned so much from researching from friends and family i knew all the sentencing guidelines i knew you know ways to try to reduce those i knew what you had to go through and uh because i've seen it you know so many people have gone through it that i know but i ultimately decided not to become a dui lawyer because uh, really I don't know if I, I, I want to help my friends and family. I don't know if I want to make it my profession to help people who get DUIs because actually it's a pretty uh, unacceptable behavior, you know, especially when you're going twice the speed limit, which is the case here for Pete Walker. Uh, but anyway, he was arrested Friday morning after speeding under the influence in, uh, in Florida. And according to local police, the 52 year old was going 82 miles per hour in a 45. Um, no, it's not as reckless as Ruggs from the NFL who was going like 150 something miles an hour and in, in a, a woman and her dog end up dying in, in, in an incident that is hard to talk about. It's so tragic and so unacceptable. This is not as bad, but he was going 82 in a 45. I just don't know. Like how out of your mind are you to do that? If you know, you've had, you know, some drinks and you're driving under the influence, why would you go 82 miles an hour in a 45? Is it because you're so drunk you don't know what you're doing? Are you an idiot? I really don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below because I don't know what it's like to be that drunk. I don't know what it's like to be drunk at all, to be honest. But 82 miles an hour in a 45, what the hell is wrong with you? You're going to get pulled over and you're going to get a DUI. At, and that's if you're lucky and you don't get in an accident and kill somebody or yourself. So I, I just don't understand why you would be driving this fast. Um, I mean, I guess it's not, like I said, it's not... The fastest, you know, it's not 100 something, but still, that's that's insane. I live near a 45 mile per hour zone. Of course, I've gone over four. Of course, I've gone 50, 55. In a, so what? I've gone 50 and passed a cop and didn't even pull me over. Um, but when you're going 82, yeah, I've never gone 82 in a 45. But hey, uh, the police on the scene said that Walker failed a sobriety test and confessed to drinking four beers at a local bar and restaurant. I mean, he was, he was, you know, well enough to explain that he had four beers. To me, he should have been, you know, in his mind enough not to drive 82 miles an hour. How dumb are you? Well, first of all, you shouldn't even get behind the wheel. Don't get me wrong. You shouldn't even get behind the wheel if you've had anything to drink. We know that, but people are still going to do that. They're just going to do it. Drinking is such a part of society. Go out, you drink, you know, you're, you're, not everyone's going to have a designated driver. They should. Not everyone's going to call a cab or not everyone's going to call an Uber, uh, you know, even though they should. But that's just it's not going to happen. We're never going to, I don't think we're ever going to live in a world where, just nobody drinks and drives unfortunately so you just got to be careful out on the road because there are people out there who have been drinking not only can you hurt yourself or someone obviously but it goes without saying you risk yourself getting pulled over and getting a dui and while this actually i've done a ton of research on it in california the sentencing is relatively uh light i mean you're not going to go to prison for a whole bunch of years or anything like that you might spend some time in the, in, in the can in jail um you're going to get out and you're going to have to go to some classes you're going to have to pay some money i mean it, it's not something you want in your life white Sox manager and infamous uh, baseball personality obviously tony la russa was sentenced to one day of home detention 
And exactly what I'm saying. One day of home detention. I would love to be sentenced to some home detention. You know, one or two days of home detention. Chill out at home. Uh, tw- one day of home detention. Is that a sentence? Would anybody would anybody feel, oh my God, my life is over. I have to stay home one day. I'm just saying, 20 hours of, commu- 20 hours of community service. What is that? Three days of work? Not even eight hour shifts? That's nothing. Uh, $1,400? Uh, I'm pretty sure Tony La Russa, that's nothing. It just, just this is my point right here. This is my point right here. This is not a sentence. This is not a deterrent. I mean, it is to Tony La Russa, it, the deterrent is the public shame and everything and humiliation and being a, a public figure. But if you're not Tony La Russa, if you're just a private citizen and this is your sentence, I mean, I could see us that person like in a year or two is like, hey, man, I'm drunk. I need to get home. You know what? I'll just take the risk. It's not a big deal if I get pulled over. And he was a repeat offender. He was a repeat offender. I'm not trying to go on a rant about that, but you can tell from my tone that I think that that drinking and driving charges sometimes are just too lenient. Walker's situation could prove a little more complicated as a current employee in the middle of spring training. So if you jump over to Twitter, but he was going 82 and a 45 is effing insane to begin with. Doing it while inebriated is just so dangerous to everyone. No excuses, just really disappointing, Pete. Uh, that's, That's absolutely, absolutely. This guy says, I wouldn't rule out a firing. The Jays take the character and conduct things seriously, especially for employees in position of leadership and mentoring. It's true. This guy is 52 years old. What's going on? Uh, they also have PR angle to consider. I think his days with the club are numbered. You know what? That was dumb. I shouldn't have speculated on the outcome. We don't have all the information and it won't come out for some time. Suffice to say, it's very disappointing. There will be and should be consequences. Until there's more info, I'll shut up about it. 82 and a 45. 82 in a 45. Five. This is a satellite view. It said that there's a. It's an incredibly built-up area with an elementary school on the corner of the intersection. I mean, yeah, come on. If someone's going that fast with four beers in them, I don't think they're caring about it. it does, you know, people don't think they're going to crash. They don't think they're going to get pulled. They don't think anything's going to happen to them. I don't understand that attitude. I don't really understand why a serious DUI is considered less of an offense than domestic violence. If you're double or triple over the limit, it's not a case of one extra drink. The, that can has destroyed entire families. Really should be a DUI policy like domestic policy. It's not a, not a terrible point. It's not a terrible point. I mean, you're, you're, you're risking lives out there. I mean, I think that every case is different a little bit. You look into the case. Sometimes someone's barely over the limit. They were driving the speed limit, driving home from a party. I mean, I, there's no excuse, but there are definitely cer- circumstances in these things. In this case, the guy's had four beers at least, and he's driving almost double the speed limit. Uh, Yeah, uh, not looking too good. All the resources available to him, there's no excuse for this. If Pete has a problem, it's it's easy to assume now he does. I hope the organization can get him some help. Honestly, firing would be warranted. John McCrake and this organization make it through spring training without embarrassing itself. I mean, I can't really blame the organization. It's an individual in the, within the organization. It could happen to any team. So I'm not going to blame the Blue Jays organization. We'll see how they respond to it. Again, I, I, I'm not going to call for his firing necessarily. Like this guy said, the guy made a mistake. He's going to get a fair hearing. And uh, we're going to see what happens. But, uh, you know, I, I know that I used to complain when I was in the Army how the Army was all up in your daily life. Even, you know, if you get a ticket or something, they, they, they get on you. And it's like, dude, you know, you're, you're just my job. You're just my work, okay? I, I know MLB is a little different. And obviously the Army is a little different. But still, um, the law is going to take care of itself. If the law is going to impede on your work and lock you up in jail for a while, well, then you're going to miss work. You're going to have to let your work know. And then your work can, can, can uh, take action. But, I mean, obviously, uh, I get it. You know, the Blue Jays. They want to set a good precedent. This is one of their leaders. And if they want to suspend him, they can do that. They want to fire him, they can do that. If it was a coach on the Giants who I really liked a lot, I'd be very disappointed. Um, But I wouldn't necessarily call for their firing either. So I'm not going to do that for the Blue Jays. We'll have to see what happens. But uh, I do think it's ridiculous. I think it's insane. 82 and a 45. I just wonder what the hell is wrong with you. What are you you doing? Are you on drugs too or something? What is wrong with you? You could kill somebody. You could have killed somebody or yourself. An innocent person. You're freaking drunk, and you're driving 82 miles an hour. So there you have it. That's the situation. Uh, we'll see what happens with Pete Walker. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I mean, I'm not trying to, you know, be too hard on him. I don't think he's a sick mother effer who needs to spend, you know, months and or years in prison. But uh, this is really stupid and disappointing. And I wish that uh, sometimes that some of the punishments were a little more harsh, and maybe it would deter more people. Maybe. Maybe you think twice before drinking and driving. If you know, if you get hit, you're going to the can for a while. You're going to be locked up for a while. You're going to, you know, get in big trouble. Uh, not little slaps on the wrist. A thousand, two thousand dollar fine. It sucks. Nobody wants to pay that much. 
but they allow you to do it in payments. You know, it's 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 really not that big a deal. Uh, I know a lot of people um, who have gotten DUIs. Some of them don't even don't even pay their fees, and nothing ever happens to them. They just don't pay it. Nothing happens. Um, you know, some of them will go and they call it book and release. They get locked up. They get right out. I've gone and dropped someone off. I'm like, okay, bro, I'll see you in two weeks, man. Get a call 10 minutes later. Bro, can you pick me up? Book and release. But anyway, that's how it is. You know, California jails are, are packed. So I don't know about what's going on in Florida. Um, but we'll see what happens with Pete Walker. You, got to, you still get your opportunity to defend yourself. And he's going to have that. But it sounds pretty... Uh, uh, pretty cut and dry here that what happened so we'll have to see though if anything else comes on this let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below hit that thumbs up hit that subscribe we'll talk to you next time damage control straight to the hole i got no chance of ever making